Hey guys, it's Jamie. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put together the Farm Fresh cutting board crate. In the file, you will get two of the chicken wire sides, a front and a back cutting board, the bottom, and also all of these pieces, which will make a frame. You'll also get an optional handle. If you want to use it, you can. If not, you don't have to. Those are the caps that will go on the end. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I do is I take one of the sides And I will go ahead and add glue. When you do this, make sure that you have the scored on the outside. Because I scored the barbed wire just to give it a little something extra and we will go ahead and do the same thing on this side and now we will do The other. So that's what you have so far. And now basically all I do is just flip it over and add the bottom. You can also pin nail this if you wanted to. You can also add extra um, front and back, which is something that I'm thinking about doing. I might do that just to, I want to beef it up a little bit. I really want it to be like a hefty piece. So once you have this bottom on, sorry, you can't see it. So I may add, and it's included in the file, a blank one of these, or another, I may add the de decoration on it just to hide all of these slots and bulk this up, make it look beefy, kind of like doubling the handle. So next thing, we can create the frame. And so you will need two of each. And basically what that, what it's gonna do is just basically the long ones on the top and bottom. Aligning with the top. And then another one on the bottom. It also gives it added strength when you adding when you're adding the frame. And we'll insert the sides.
creates a frame around it. And we'll do the same thing to the side. Make sure the bottom one is even with the bottom, otherwise you'll have a wobbly crate. Okay. So that's how you put it together, super simple. If you wanted to do the optional handle, what you would do is just put the handle in each side, and I'm not gonna glue it just because I am I may make a second uh, front. So put the handle into the hole on each side. The caps that you'll get, obviously one circle has the, the cutout and the other one doesn't. This is just so it's a more finished look. And you'll put it on the ends. Now, if you do not want it to move back and forth, then I would go ahead and glue the caps to the, um, sorry, the cutting board so that it doesn't move and it stays, it stays straight up. If you don't, if you want it to be able to move, just leave it be, glue them, glue them, uh, glue the handle to the rounds, but not to the cutting board. And that is it. Decorate it with the words that are provided in the file and you are done. Please let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer anything you have. Have a great day.